let's turn this frown upside down. I was going to show you guys the practice of the Pro Cup here in Sydney, Manly, but once again, the weather is not on our side, so it's been washed out. So instead, I'm gonna do a bag check and show you everything I brought to Australia to film these vlogs for you guys. First up, I wanna talk about my favorite toy in the whole world, the Mavic Pro. Out of all my camera gear, this is my absolute favorite. Oh shit! And it doesn't get the GPS, there must be something wrong in this room, so we're not flying the drone in here, let's get on with more gear. Highly recommend getting yourself a couple of Polaroids for the front. I got three from Polaroid Pro and it's absolutely amazing. Moving on to the next thing, ah, is my little backbreaker. This is my big OGO bag. Awesome bag, holds a lot of gear, but the zippers... So in the main compartment is where I keep my photography camera. This is a Sony A7R Mark II. Three Canon lenses. I have a 50mm 1.4. I have a 15mm fisheye for riding shots. It's broken, so I gotta run this sticker over it. And I have a 70 to 200 2.8. And I have two Sony lenses for autofocus. This is a 35 millimeter 1.4 Zeiss lens. This lens alone was more expensive than the body. And right here, what I'm using is a 16 to 55 millimeter Sony lens as well. It's good for zooms and it's good for the vlogs. And in this little compartment is where I keep my Sony A7 I. This is an amazing camera for low light, and I use my trusty Gorillapod, and that's my vlog camera. True vlogger, unless you have a Gorillapod. The microphone I always use is a Polson mini shotgun, and this is with the microphone off. And this is with the microphone on top. Vlog life. While we're discussing audio, I also have these Kos headphones. They were fairly cheap. But the reason I like them is because they fold up nice and small and they're not that expensive. If I break them, who really gives a shit? The Mini Intex 90. This is an amazing Polaroid camera. I keep a bunch of Polaroids with me. And this is more for just hanging out with friends and just getting those candid lifestyle shots that you can take home, put on the fridge. Every photographer should have one of these. It's a light meter. I know we're all digital these days, but you still need to know what's the right exposure. And one of my favorite pieces of equipment, this is an ND filter. This is a nine stop ND filter. Top zipper. This is where I keep my idea book, my gray card. A gray card is so you can white balance. If you're not using a gray card, you really should. A couple of GoPro holders, which we'll get onto next. Uh, another GoPro stick, which we'll get onto next. And in this compartment, I keep my laptop as well. So I have a 13 inch laptop in here. This is what I do all my editing on when I'm traveling. Pretty self-explanatory, has a, a touch pad to unlock it. Oh look, YouTube, hey. Smash that like button, subscribe. And yeah, just a little laptop. So always use two hard drives. Don't leave it to chances. This is a shit tripod. This thing absolutely sucks, but it's the lightest one I could find and the lightest tripod I could use. So I travel with this one. So this one you can, it won't break and I don't really care about it at all. Let's get on to the GoPro bags now. I have two GoPro bags. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. All right, let's smash through these GoPro bags really, really quickly. In my first GoPro bag, I have two Hero 4s. I have one that just has the adapter on the bottom. That way I can stick it on a helmet, stick it on my bike, whatever it takes. The second one, I normally just rock empty. That way I can chuck it quickly on a gimbal that will go onto this gimbal stick and it has a much steadier shot. You can never have too many GoPro batteries, I tell you that right now. But I don't use the GoPros as my main camera, I normally just use these as backup angles or whatnot. Moving on to the second case, I have an egg timer, that way I can do panoramics or just time lapses. So egg timer, I have a mouth guard. Hey, how you doing? 
This thing's awesome for surfing, and then just a whole bunch of adapters. I have a couple of foam cases for the GoPro. I have one GoPro bag for the cameras, and one just for all the cases. This is a wrist strap. I also have a chest mount, and these all just go together. So that's it for the travel bags. It's a lot of gear. It all fits in one backpack, and then two little bags on the shoulder, and chilling. I love using my skateboard just for rolling shots. It makes it good, so you don't just have to chuck everything on a tripod. And one last thing to do is to get an overhead shot like everybody else on YouTube gets. So I hope you guys liked my little gear review, what's in my bag. If you did, smash that like button, give me a subscribe, tell one of your mates, and I'll keep up the channel. Peace! Oh yeah, I can't say peace because one of you commented that that's Scotty Kramer's thing, so... Laters.